they'll be disappointed they need to be putting it up on the score because every wide now is nearly like a score to Fecal look at that puck out from Aver Quiddigan right onto the hurley of Shane McGrath brings it across to Oshin Donnan Oshin Donnan sends the ball high up into the air and straight between the posts that is a brilliant score of absolute simplicity from Fecal brilliant puck out from Quiddigan onto the boss of McGrath's hurley got the call from his captain transferred it inside and he dispatched it between the posts Fecal now kicking for home 150 to 11 clear yeah very and full value for it but a credit again look at Shane McGrath has been fantastic but Oshin Donlan there you know really really good position and Derek the amount of ball that he has got on he's having the game of his life today and look at compounded with a really good score Inda Madden has made his way on to the uh, Fecal team and uh, it is coming off uh, Inda Noonan for these closing stages so Fecal making sure that everybody gets to taste if it is going to be their day here of uh, county final action but at the moment we have a free now for the uh, Six Mile Bridgeman and it's going to be Alex Morey to take it on the 45 metre line at what point do they kind of start trying to force it? Five to play, you're 115 to 11 down. They've got to get it back Derek to definitely potentially that two score game you know and they have to kind of just chip away into the lead but they have to be so economical now with the ball they can't afford to be hit needless wides or definitely any ball into Aver Quilligan the way he can restart the game really well for them so it's a massive massive five six minutes ahead now so the bridge will have to come strong exactly five plus the additional time to go 115 to 12 six between the sides as Fecal tried to bridge that gap since 1988 when they last won Cannon Hamilton Val Donnan captain on that occasion Ushin captain here underneath us this afternoon we saw a similar thing yesterday in the ladies football Chloe Maloney captain of the Clamory Brick and Ladies and her dad of course Aidan Horst Maloney captain of the Clamory team as well way back when lifting the cup here in the York Corla of uh, Park Kissog line ball here underneath us for the six mile bridge and it's going to be Shane Golden I think that's going to come across or is it Jack Shane is going to take control of this one Tommy Liddy now parading down here trying to issue those last couple of instructions it's Shane Golden with the line ball he'll strike it on the left about 50 yards out from the post good connection on a cross field ball that is over there in the direction of Brian Curry once again the touch and the pick up immaculate now he snaps the ball into his hand dinks it over the top Shane Amore takes it on he's very wide on this one though good challenge from Con Smith gets it back Shane with the strike oh Aver Quilligan top class Aver Quilligan what a save as he gets that ball clear and Fiegel are bringing it clear down they go lovely dink ball out there looking from Raymond Van his first involvement between the two 65 metre lines cuts inside ball back on the stick once again looks to deliver it long and he does in once more it goes towards Owen McGann all the way through but Derek Fahey stood firm stood clear and brings the ball away down to the 21 across it comes here and that's Paddy Fitzpatrick just on his own 45 gets the call from Fahey behind him once again very close to the sideline delivers it that's a good ball down into the hands of Brian Carey up he goes turns around oh, he's have to deliver it long again he goes for glory he goes for the score is it dropping it is on top of Quilligan's hand though and he finds Adam Hogan brings it away down the pitch once again Con Smith says give it to me that was the dummy because it's Ronan O'Connor is the man that has it instead pulled back there by Shane Golden Ronan still going wins his free savage defence from the fecal men Aver Quilligan take a bow absolutely and that's it look at as I've said, Derek, on either of these two goalies, the ball must go dead. You know, you allow those guys a chance to restart for their teams. But look at what a frantic few minutes there. Shane Amore made a great run, great defending by the Fecal, great save from Aver, and they came away with the ball. So all of the momentum now with Fecal, they're just trying to see it out. One result in as well from the, a little bit earlier on. Wolf Tones continuing a brilliant couple of weeks for the club. They won the Junior B uh, Premier Football title, beating the men from Moy in that decider a little bit earlier on out in Gortine. And of course, this evening, it is the Junior A Football Final out in Milton, who Michael Cusicks will take on Clare Castle. None of that bothering Shane McGrath right now, as he has this free just shy of his own 45 metre line, striking it. It'll have plenty of distance. How was the accuracy? Oh my word, Shane McGrath, exceptional from the diminutive little number 8 for the Fecal Men as he sends the ball flying between the posts from all of 120 yards out 116 to 12 they lead by 7 we've 2 to play they've done all of the hurling their full value for it Derek now you know and it's it's it, they're driving at home so it's a big Bridge need a green one. They definitely need a green one to get out here. They need a couple. I'd say Ronan O'Connor isn't in any mood to give it to them though. He picks the ball up again, just loses the footing a little bit, but gets a support runner off the shoulder. They have been absolutely magnificent all day long. Are they starting to put the cherry on top? Is that another one added to it? It is. And it is Owen Tuhi from distance. A brilliant score. And now they can start to dream as Fikra Donlan will join Ushin on the pitch, his brother. And he's being encouraged by Shane McGrath to work, work, work now for these last couple 
couple of moments. There's eight between the sides, 117 to 12. Ah, no, fantastic play there. But Fiegel have played so much good stuff today, Derek. They're full value for it. And the bridge just haven't been able to just get to the pitch of it. And that's amazing hunger. Just dialed on work rate. Great team play. And they're full value for their lead. Martin Daly comes off having run himself into the ground. Fikra Donnan will go into the edge of the square for the closing stages. Puck out for Derek Fahey. He'll look to the far side of the pitch. Fikra Bryn being ready here underneath us to play these closing stages. We are now one minute out from the additional time of the 2024 Two's Clare Senior Hurling Final. And it looks like it's going to be a good night out in Pepper's Bar and Restaurant in Fecal, who are our commentary sponsors. Gary and all the crew out there, lads, get stocking up. Get it from where you can. Go to all the neighbours because you're going to need every bit of it. Not just tonight, I'd say, but for a week or maybe two or three with it. 117 to 12, 30 seconds plus the additional time to go. The photographers are gathering here underneath us. Jer Conway is just striding around. You're trying to compose yourself now for these last couple of minutes. But your hand, one hand, maybe in the thumb and the other one is on it. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at it. Derek, they've been fantastic today. You know, from 1 to 15, they have had their plan. And what has impressed me is it's been a total, total team effort from them. They have literally been so, so good. They've been really economical. You know, four wides over the course of an hour. You know, it's it's impressive shooting in a county final. Three minutes of additional time and we have played just five seconds of that right now as Shane McGrath once again goes for glory, once again puts the ball in but it goes left and wide and we play on with a, a quick puck out take and worked 1-2. Derek Fahey goes clear to the 45 metre line, winds up for a walloper and lets it off down towards the 13 metre line at the other side of the pitch. The ball is breaking down but once again it's Fekel standing firm and it's Killian Ban bringing it clear down this right hand channel delivers a lovely ball away down the pitch looking once again there for Owen McGann he's the man that scored the goal in the 2024 two senior hurling final Colin Flynn has been brilliant at cornerback long ball across Fikro Brin has made his entrance for these closing stages in front of a packed shed here in Parkis Oak long ball down looking for Brian Corey once again touch brilliant okay, get it up at the second time of asking he does gets the hand pass away good strong running there from Brian Carey gets the shot from the angle that one goes all the way across the goal it goes out left and wide one 17 to 12. Leon Kelly comes in and uh, coming off the team will be Noel Purcell for these closing stages. Eight points down. Two minutes of additional time to go. The fecal lads here underneath us, they can barely watch. Ah, look at it. It's a fantastic day for them as well, you know. And look at, as I said, I've just been so impressed with them from 1 to 15. You know, totally, totally team orientated. Have played some fantastic hurling and fully deserved. Puck out for Aver Quiddigan. He is in no rush to take it. They want to savour every moment of these last couple of minutes here as they're about to lift the Cannon Hamilton and bring him away out the Tuller Road, out towards Fecal, out towards all the areas of the parish. And I'd say a good night in store, as we say, for the next couple of weeks. There's Munster Club to come, but uh, judging by Darrow Donovan's interview, when you win one after a while, or I don't know how much Munster Club plays on your mind. But anyway, if you haven't seen that, uh, look it up. It's a, it's a good one in fairness. Colin Flynn has the ball for Six Mile Bridge and uh, gives it back to Derek Fahey so it's going to be a line ball here just underneath us again the clock counting down all the time one minute of the additional time to go and uh, well Fiekel as you say absolutely full value for it line ball taken by Cullen Flynn down the line it goes again holding it up Stevie Conway Alex Morey came and Morey all inside around there trying to get on it and who comes away with it only Con Smith the man that was above in Crow Park it off down the shoulder on towards Owen McGann once again Cullen Flynn facing his own end line does really well turns around and picks it up facing the opposite direction gets the call across from him from Derek Fahey wheels up the field once again to the 45 looks up delivers it down into the corner once again Brian Corey is the target that one goes out over the sideline it's starting to peter out full time whistle absolutely imminent yeah look at and as I said for Fiekel full value for it and been fantastic the bridge look at you know they just haven't been themselves today but you know credit to Fecal Fecal have played the game on their terms and they've absolutely drove it home so look at it's going to be a great night for them up there and look at for especially for some of those lads that are playing there and their fathers played in their last final be a fantastic memory for them does one of them away here to our right hand side I'd say he can barely contain himself at the moment the mighty Tommy Gilfoyle the mighty Con Smith is the man that has it right now at the moment for Fecal gets the call behind him from Aver full time whistle is imminent Aver Quiddigan with the ball the three minutes of additional time has passed he's just scutching it away and far and wide as he can Joe Mullins whistle is on his lips at the moment the ball is in the hands of Cullen Flynn down the line it comes to Shane Golden Owen 
McGann goes in and puts in the challenge. Leon Kelly there trying to pick it up. Tommy is behind us. He's celebrating. He's making for the presentation area. This man is absolutely overjoyed. It's uh, Joe Mullins with the free. Well done, Tommy, and well done. All the rest of the fecal lads as well. Joe Mullins says it's going to be a free for Six Mile Bridge just to finish out proceedings, but you can just see there what it means. Oh, yeah, look at the, 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 the subs, the mentors, and everyone that they just can't wait to get out on the field. But a fantastic day for fecal and their club and their community. And look at I'd say there isn't a person left in fecal. And obviously for Father Harry, you know, who's listening in, I'd say he's so delighted as well. He certainly is. The free has been taken quickly. Down the line it comes to uh, the man, as we say, Colin Flynn up now in a, an attacking position. Gets the hand pass away into the corner. Once again, they're coming around it, flicking it on. Fake crow brain out. It goes towards Brian Carey. He'll try a dipper from distance. And Ever Quiddigan just tips it over the crossbar because it'll make no difference. Joe Mullins, I think, is going to signal it now very shortly. 117 to 13 will be the full-time score in the 2024 Toos Senior Hurling Final. The photographers gathering underneath us. There goes the final whistle and it's Fecal who fall to their knees in absolute, I don't know, what would you call it? Ecstasy and joy. They cannot believe what has unfolded here. The... Uh, Scenes are absolutely brilliant. The crowd are starting to come in, and uh, it's Aver Quilligan who's below the goals. He's absolutely mobbed by young lads. Adam Hogan's down there as well at the moment. They're celebrating. It's well, well deserved. What a championship they've had, and fittingly, crown champions. Absolutely, Derek. They're a full value. And look at, as I said, from, from start to finish, they played brilliant hurling. And on a day like this, you want to put your best performance out there. But from 1 to 15, their team play, Derek has been totally selfless. And as I said, to have only five wide